everybody welcome to Franny Square this is the Franny's hair portion and today I'm going to be showing you some more tress allure styles and I'm doing this in preparation for our live wig party which is now scheduled for next Saturday May 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'll have my mom and my sisters here and we'll have fun trying on wigs for you and answering any questions that you may have. So bring your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and plan on having a good time with us. All right, so today I wanted to start out with this razor cut shag, and this is in the color 1723R8. Now when I did the live stream just the other day, I think it was Tuesday, People said to me, could you please tell me if a wig is warm or cool colored? And I am going to do a video on warm and cool colors and how to figure out which colors look best on you. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you whether or not these wigs are warmer or cooler in color. So this is definitely a warmer color. It has golden blondes and some auburn and a medium browns in it. The R8 means that it's rooted with a medium brown. So that's the medium brown color. And I love a rooted wig when you don't have a monofilament part or top, which is the case with this wig. This wig's one of the more affordable wigs because it's a basic cap. It is heat friendly, so you can use heat to style it. And I'm gonna show you the cap in a minute. But in the meantime, let's just take a look at the style. It's a razor shag. Basically, you can see I love this cut and it really has some nice movement to the hair. And 1723 R8, the color, it's my favorite color in Tressalore for me. That doesn't mean it'll be the best color for you, but I love this color. This is the color I have picture perfect in also, which is that long uh, wig. Where did I put the, this? This lady right here, I love her. So also in the same color. All right, so let me just show you this wig all the way around. I put her behind my ears because I think it looks nice, but you could do a lot with her and you could really get a lot of height out of her too. All right, so here's the front. I stopped myself from saying side, back, side. <laughs> I can't help myself. All right, keep turning, Fran. <laughs> She's really cute, isn't she? All right, let me show you the cap on the inside. Here we go. Here is the basic front. There's no lace. There's some permatease here. That's what's giving me the height in the top. You can see open wefted and there's, oops, and there's some stretch. I wouldn't say it's a lot of stretch and the extended nape here in a nice material, that velvety material, Velcro adjusters, and also the ear tabs have the metal stays, and they're also in that nice material, very comfortable. Okay, so this next style is called Shay, and she's in Honey Bean. She is not heat friendly, but she does have a lace front and a monofilament top. So let me show you. The lace front is done really well. You can see there. And the monofilament top allows you to part her anywhere you would like, and it gives you a natural looking part. And I will show you the cap. And I'd probably style her behind one ear as I do. Let me show you Honeybean. This is also a warmer color. And I am gonna do a video with these color rings, but I just wanna show you the colors that are involved in Honeybean. So you can see there's a little bit of an auburnish and golden uh, color as well as a brown, but those are definitely warmer tones. Okay, and let me just turn for you. Really a cute style. Now let me show you the cap. And I'm not wearing my wig grip with the lace. So if you see the wig grip through the wigs when I show you, 
It's just because I'm not wearing the one with the lace cut out. So you can see here, it's a temple to temple lace front with a full monofilament top, open wefting, and there's definitely stretch in that. The velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters. This is a really beautiful wig. And see if you can see the color close up there. Look how pretty that is. That's called honey bean. And just to show you how it looks against the coloring, you can see those colors in there. Okay, moving on to the next. Okay, this next one is the angled bob, and I'm sure you know that I love this style. My sunset from Ellen Villa is also this type of style. The difference between this and Sunset is while they both have a lace front, Sunset has a monofilament part, this does not. So you can see here, I think it's still done really nice, especially with the highlights. And this is in the color 628. And 628 is described as a dark brown with bright auburn highlights. And here you can see on the coloring, these are the colors in it. And if I get close to the camera, you can see the highlights in it. And it's definitely a warmer color. So let me just spin for you and then I'll show you the cap. This is a heat friendly wig, so you can style it with heat. And you can see the angle, little bit of stacking there. I really think this slight angle really looks good on so many people. And I was actually just watching a video by a hairdresser on what types of cuts you should and shouldn't get. And of course, I mean, if you love a cut, you should get whatever you want. But he was saying that having just a slight angle is much more attractive than a very blunt cut. So, and I agree, I think it, it does something for the face. All right, so let's take a look at the cap. Now, like I said, this one doesn't have a monofilament part like Sunset does, and that'll be reflected in the price. This is gonna be less expensive than Sunset by Ellen Villa. Okay, so here we have the lace front, temple to temple, permatease here, open wefting, nice amount of stretch, the velvet ear tabs with the metal stays. It's not an extended nape, it's just a regular nape, with the Velcro adjusters. Really great style, so easy to wear. I love this. All right, on to the next. Okay, this is Brushed Pixie in the color 445660, which is described as a dark gray. It's a beautiful color, take a look at that. And really such a cute style. This is one of the final sale items right now. Really adorable. I'm gonna spin for you and then we'll take a look at the cap. It's heat friendly, so you can style it with heat. And it's a basic cap, which makes it much more affordable. Not to mention that it's on sale right now. Really cute, isn't it? All right, let me take it off and show you the cap. Here we go, basic cap, no lace front, permatease right here, open wefting, nice stretch, has the nice material, velvety material for the ear tabs with metal stays and extended nape and Velcro adjusters. Adorable. Okay, this is Charlie in Chocolate Swirl, and I wanted to mention, all Tress Allure wigs come in an average size, but this one feels larger to me. The others felt pretty average and fit me pretty normally. I'm gonna say this one fits a little bit bigger, so I just wanted to let you know that. So this comes in Chocolate Swirl, which is a warmer color again. You can see here it has the gold and a golden brown as well, and you can see that up close in the wig. And this is not a heat-friendly style, but it does have a lace front See if you can see that there. And a monofilament top, so you can part it. Oh, 
anywhere you like. And it's a nice swing to it, little bob. Okay, I'll spin for you and then we'll take a look at the cap. And the reason I wanted to show you these ahead of time before the party is because then if you want to see something on somebody else and you have it in your mind, oh, I'd really like to see Charlie on Melissa or Sharon or maybe the gray wig on my mother, you can write that down and be ready to ask us at the live party. Okay, so let's take a look at Charlie's cat. Okay, so she has a lace front, temple to temple, a mono top, velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, open wefting with plenty of stretch, and as I said, she does fit a little bit bigger. She has a regular nape, it's not extended, velvety, with the Velcro adjusters. All right, on to the next. Okay, so this is sleek and straight, and she's in the color 1426R10 which is a warm color. It's very golden blonde and it has a medium light brown rooting. It has a mono crown and no lace front, but it does have bangs. And you guys know I don't normally wear bangs, but I made it a little wispy like this. So it's not exactly like a straight bang for me, although you can wear it like a straight bang. And I wore it out the other night and I really liked it. I like the uh, razor cuts in it. Really nice. So as I said, there's no lace front, so you can see there is a dark line there, but when you have the bangs down, you don't notice that. So that's nice. Since you don't need the lace front, you don't have to pay for the lace front. So I'm gonna spin for you and then show you the cap. Melissa was surprised when she saw me show up to dinner wearing bangs since I don't normally, but she really liked it because she's a person who likes bangs. So if you like bangs, this could be a good style for you. Now let's take a look at the cat. Okay, so you can see here, no lace front. There's the monofilament crown the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the open wefting with the stretch, extended velvety nape, and Velcro adjusters. Really cute wig, fun wig. Oh, and I wanted to mention that I put spraying conditioner in her and wore her out. And I don't know if it's the style or the spraying conditioner, the leaving conditioner, but she did not tangle much at all, and she's heat friendly. This next style I have in three colors. It's the angled pixie. It's asymmetrical, so you can see it's longer on one side and shorter on the other. This is in the color 8R, which is described as a medium brown. And you can see here these two colors. And I would say that this could actually go cooler it doesn't look like a real golden brown at all. So you could actually go with a cooler skin tone for this color. Now it's a basic cap, it is heat friendly. I'm gonna spin for you and then I'm gonna show you the other colors as well. So any of the heat friendly wigs come in this color. So it's good to just see what the different colors are, whether or not you would get it in this style. And I would probably put the one side back like that. Now let's take a look at the cap. There we go. It's a basic cap, no lace front, permatees here, open wefting with stretch, velvety ear tabs with the metal stay, extended nape, also velvety, and the Velcro adjusters. Now let me just show you the other colors I have. This color here 
is called 3231. And that's described as a medium red auburn blend. And you can see that in there. And this is gonna be warmer because it has that auburn blend. And I'll show you the difference on me. I tend to look better in warmer colors. I think uh, you'll see that between that one that I just had on and this one. Yeah, definitely. Oh, get that tag out of the way there. So this is a warmer color. You can see that on me there. Really cute. I like the asymmetry. And then the last color I have this in is 829. And 829 is described, let me find it here, as a medium brown with red highlights. And you can see that in there. And again, medium brown with red highlights is a warmer color. Let me see if I can find a swatch here. Okay, so here is 829 and they actually included two um, hair things with it there and you can see the colors and you can see that this is a warmer color so I'm just going to try this one on as well this one feels looser it's funny sometimes the same wig in different colors will just feel different yeah, this definitely feels looser. I'd have to tighten this one up. And again, it's warmer. I like it better on me than that first one, which was cooler. Hmm. I don't know which one I like the best between this and the reddish one. You guys let me know what you think. Really cute style. Okay, on to the next. I almost forgot I have this in a fourth color, 385160, which is described as a light gray. Definitely a cool color. You can totally see that. And so cool that I don't think it actually looks good on me. If you wanna see this one at the party on my mother, that might be a better fit. Or even maybe Sharon, she might have coloring like my mother. Anyway, it's a beautiful light gray, you can see that. This would be a really nice style in a gray. It's a very sophisticated style with that asymmetry. I really like this. Okay, now on to the next. Okay, this one is called Sheer Joy and she has it all. She's heat friendly, she has a lace front, she has a monofilament top, Every single feature is on this girl. Her color is 3332R4, which is described as an auburn blend with rooted dark brown, which you can see there. The rooting's done really nicely. It looks very natural. Here's her lace front. You can see that done really nicely. And she has a full mono top. <laughs> you can see there. So you can part it anywhere you want. And let me just show you here. It's definitely warm colors. You can see it's a golden blonde and this auburn blend is beautiful with the dark brown. Really nicely done. Okay, let me spin for you. Then we'll take a look at her cap. So as I said, she is heat friendly. You can style her with heat. And I did uh, use a hair dryer to give this little lift here because I like the way that looks. All right, let's look at her cap. Okay, she has the temple to temple lace front, the full mono top, the open wefting, the velvety ear tabs, and the extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters. 
Now, when we're here for the party also, we can try on glasses with the wigs and all of that for you. I didn't bring my glasses in today and I just realized I haven't been trying these on with glasses, but feel free. And if you have any questions when you're looking at the wigs on the website, just shoot me a question. I'll answer you as quickly as I can. All right, now on to the next. Okay, so this is Brianna. She's on final sale. There's a few colors of her left. She's a basic cap and she has textured waves and she's this short style. She's adorable. You can just shake her out and then throw her on and go. And this is in the color English Tea Highlighted, which again is another warmer color. I seem to get a lot of warm colors. And you can see these are the colors in the English Tea Highlighted. Let me get these out of the way. These are the colors in the English Tea Highlighted, warm colors. See if you can see that up close. I'm gonna spin for you. It's a great short style for the summer. Just throw it on. Let me show you the cat. Okay, so it's a basic front cap here. There's permatease in here. Here are the ear tabs that are the lace. I find these itchier. I always tell you this. It really depends on you whether or not you find it itchy. And some people have said to me, oh, I just put some moleskin or something over top of it. So totally up to you. So there's the ear tab, the nape, and the nape is in a nicer material. And then it has the bra strap type adjusters and it's open wefted and it has some stretch okay this is ashlyn and she's got a lot of hair <laughs> let me comb her so you can see how long she is can you see that <laughs> and she's in the color walnut brown i've never had this much hair in my entire life okay but if you're looking for hair she's got it she is a basic cap. This is walnut brown, let me show you that, which is a warmer brown. I don't know if you can see this up close, but it does have the reddish in it. Let me see if I can show you up close. It's really pretty color. And this is interesting. This cap, and I'll show you when I take it off, there is a metal stay right here that you can adjust so you could make it stand up. You know, I don't know that you'd wanna do that, but you could press it down to fit the edge of your face there, which I haven't seen before. That's very interesting. So let me just spin for you and we'll take a look at the cap. <laughs> Hopefully you can see all the hair. <laughs> I think we should have Sharon try this one on. And because of the styling up here, you really don't need the lace front. You could, you could even cut bangs into it. You could do whatever you want, but it has the layers around the face, which is nice. I think I would personally go for a lighter color for me, but if you're looking for a dark color, this walnut brown is really beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. And this will be one of your less expensive long wigs because it is a basic cap. So here you see, basic front. Here's where the permatease is. It has the lacier tabs, which again, not my favorite, but you could put something over it or maybe it doesn't bother you. Extended lace nape and the bra strap adjusters. She's the one that's so long. I showed her in my live. I actually hang her from one of my lights because she's too long to hang from one of these heads. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think she's a good one to end today with. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all about any of the wigs, please let me know. You can put the questions in the comments below or send me an email to my Franny's Hair email address, franniesshair at gmail.com. 
trying to keep things organized, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget, right now, Tressalore is on sale on my website for 30 to 40% off. The final sale products are 40% off, and you get free shipping. And if you buy one of the products that are not final sale, one of the Tressalore products, you also get a free wig grip right now. So if you're interested in any of these, go take a look. All right, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.